As the U.S. ramps up its response to the novel coronavirus, President Trump has repeatedly suggested a reprieve is just around the corner. I think when we get into April and the warmer weather, that has a very negative effect. There's a theory that in April, when it gets warm, uh, historically, that has been able to kill the virus, so we don't know yet. One theory, when it gets a little warmer, it miraculously goes away. I hope that's true. You know, in April, supposedly, it dies with the hotter weather. A lot of people think that goes away in April with the heat. It appears Trump is referencing seasonality. This describes how active a virus is depending on the climate. In other words, the idea that people get sick more often in the winter. Most of us are familiar with influenza, which we actually refer to as seasonal influenza because it does tend to have seasonal properties. It goes up and down and up and down according to the season. We typically associate influenza with winter and there are a lot fewer cases in summer. That's why your doctor likes you to get vaccinated in the fall so that you're ready for the virus when it comes in late fall and into the winter. For this strain of the novel coronavirus, which continues to spread across the globe, health experts say it's too early to know if seasonality will have an impact. The reason some people think that this virus may decline with the warmer weather is historically some coronaviruses have done this, especially those that cause upper respiratory infections. The problem is this, this is a brand new virus agent. We have zero knowledge of the seasonality of this virus. We have not been yet through a full season of human transmission. This only began uh, at the end of 2019. It might be cold here, it might be cold in China, but it's not cold everywhere where this virus is emerging. And some of them actually are having very warm temperatures. So there's a lot we don't understand about whether this virus is going to have seasonal patterns. Even if the novel coronavirus dissipates in the currently impacted areas, it may find new life in the Southern Hemisphere you see a differential between what's going on in the northern hemisphere and in the southern hemisphere because the weather is different, the weather is opposite. Even for seasonal viruses like influenza, which peak in the northern hemisphere uh, in, in, the, in our winter months, uh, it's inverted in the southern hemisphere or where, where it peaks uh, during uh, uh, July or August. And that migration between hemispheres can actually prolong the lifespan of the disease. Experts say this means the virus could exist year-round. So when the cold returns for us next year, the virus has been maintained in human populations and will return to us again next year. There certainly is a reasonable fear that a virus like this could spread, could become an epidemic, and eventually could become endemic, which means it will exist in the population the way influenza does. It's something that would become background and that we would get used to. We cannot predict now with the information that we have how much of a hold it will actually take here.